Hey, welcome back to the Krabby Dice. Today we're going to do the playthrough for Core Worlds with the Galactic Orders expansion. So, click on the link below for the setup and rules video if you don't know how to play or follow along. <laughs> so, three things before we start. Please like, subscribe, and comment on my videos. That would be great. And what's the theme to this game? Before we start, well, we're going to be like early empires on the fringes of the universe trying to make our way into the... Uh, middle where the core worlds reside where we're going to be invading a ton of worlds on our way and increasing our military strength and so on and so on all right uh, it is just a deck builder a uh, pretty standard deck builder and you'll see that during the playthrough all right so let's get started all right welcome to the core worlds playthrough this is including the first expansion called galactic orders and you need to play this game with that expansion it's a total must all right so the game's going to last 10 rounds uh, and if you haven't played before, just follow along for for the first two three rounds. I'm gonna go into detail on exactly what I'm doing, then I'll speed it up so it'll go a bit faster near the end. Okay. Um, so every single round, we're gonna be following the same six steps, but obviously I'll show you how that works. Okay. So look at our player area, and I gave everyone a random faction. I'm gonna be these uh, line head guys, and I'll be first player because I'm actually the lowest number of all the home worlds. Uh, I am gonna be playing three players. So second player here and third player is up there. And here we go. We're ready to go. But before we even start the game, so we're not even at round one yet, we're going to have a pre-game draft of the uh, zero cards. Now, this is a variant that you can play with, and I would suggest always play with this. It makes your deck a bit more unique, and it gives you stronger cards because those grunts and starfighters that you get at the start kind of suck. So you have to remove one of each of those, toss it into the game box, and replace it with a couple of these cards. Okay? So now... Whenever you lay out cards in this game, it's always equal to the amount of players times two plus two. Okay, so we're playing three players. It's going to be eight cards. So I'm going to lay out eight cards. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And what we're going to do is we're going to draft two cards, but you're going to do it snake draft style. So first, second, third, third, second, first. Okay, so I need to draft the card first. I'm just looking at these quick, quick. And just to make my decisions a little faster, I'm just going to take this mining vessel here as my first card. Second player is going to go. I think they're going to take the retired flying ace because he's pretty awesome. Maybe I should have taken him. <laughs> uh, then third player is going to grab two cards. And I think what he's going to do is grab the uh, twin fighter and phantom ship because they actually work really well together. So he's going to do that. Then second player is going to go. And I think he's going to take maybe the... Uh, this guy costs way too much. So I think he's going to take the Berserker. And then I'm going to take the Be Beast Rider because he's kind of a uh, cheap unit that I can put out on the field uh, early on in the game. Now these two get removed from the game with any other zero cards because we don't need them anymore. And there you go. We're about ready to go. So let's set up our initial display of cards. So for each round of the game, you're actually going to use the decks of cards that are above. So for the first two rounds of the game, you're going to use the one deck. Let's take this one deck, and again, it's always cards equal to the amount of players times two plus two. So let's display cards. So now you need at least three of each type of card. There's gonna be two different types of cards. There's gonna be units, which are blue, and tactics, which, uh, sorry, tactics, which are blue, and units that are yellow. So you need at least three of those, and worlds, you need at least three. So if I flip over all these cards and we don't have the requirements, then I'll flip over some more. So it's four, five, six seven eight so there we, go. we got to our eighth card and we have at least three of each so we're fine all right we're gonna put the deck up here for that next round uh we'll take some more level one cards and place them in here and these are the cards that are going to be available this round okay so we can draft these cards and we can invade these cards okay so let's just take a quick look at what's depicted on cards so here you need two fleet and one ground strength to invade here here you need zero and two and here you need three and zero wow this is, needs a lot of strength maybe that flying ace can take it down by himself okay so now what we're going to do is i'm going to shuffle the two cards that i drafted into my deck obviously i'm not going to cheat and draw them <laughs> right off the bat on top of each other let's shuffle 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 and every single round, except for rounds 9 and 10, you're going to have 6 cards in your hand. All right. So you could carry over 1 card from round to round, but at the start of the game you have no cards. So you're going to draw 6 cards. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. 
All right, so let's look at the six phases in order. So there's the draw phase, which I just did. Uh, but <laughs> I did forget if look at your whole tableau and you might have special ability with the draw phase. So for example, everyone's home planet has the same exact ability. So if you have more worlds than you have units, obviously it's the start of the game. We don't have any units on the board yet. Draw an extra card. So that's what we'll do. We'll draw our seventh card. All right, and there you go. That's the draw phase. Next, we're going to do energy phase. So for that, it's pretty simple. Whoops, these should be at four. All right. Uh, the energy phase, you're going to look at all the energy of all the worlds that you have. So this is going to just give me three energy. So I'm going to be at three. All right. And then also look at the ability. So I have the option to discard two cards for plus one energy. And if I had any energy surges in my hand, I can also discard them for plus energy. Do I have any? Yes, I do. All right, here we go. So these are pretty simple. If anyone produces more energy than you, you'll get plus two. If not, you get plus one. So everyone starts the game exactly the same. So this, I can discard it for plus one energy. Goes to my discard. Gives me an extra energy. There you go. Do I have another one? I do not. All right, there you go. There's my hand. So that's the energy phase. I can also remember, discard two cards for plus one energy. I think I will. Uh, I don't think I need tight formation. So that's one. And... I'll get rid of a snub fighter, so that's two. So that's gonna give me another energy. So there you go, I'm gonna go into the next round, or first round, with four cards in my hand. So you can sort of calculate it. That's something that you can all do at the same exact time. All the players can do this. You sort of wanna plan your whole turn right away, all right, just to save time. So I have five energy, so I got one, two, three, four, I'm gonna spend to deploy these four cards, okay? Uh, invading is gonna be free. And the reason why it's free and usually it costs one is because the starting event did not get covered up. So in the starting event, what it says is that you can invade a planet with zero energy and zero action points. So we get a free invasion, which is great. Okay, so that's going to cost me four. And then grabbing a card, they all cost one, will be my fifth energy. So there you go. I think I'm good to go. Uh, my only issue is I have four cards and that's going to be four actions. So I might not be able to draft a card or I'll see what I'll do. Uh, maybe I won't put in the med bot and keep it for next turn. Okay, there you go. I'm ready to go. Uh, I already did it for the other two players, so they're ready to go. And let's get to it. So I think what I'm going to do is race for a planet right away because uh, you can only get at most one per in uh, round. So once you invade in a round, you can't invade until the following round. And to be honest, the only one that I would possibly be able to meet is this one here, which only needs two ground strength. So I'm going to deploy ground units as my first action. Okay, so how does deploying work? Look at your left hand side of your board here. So you can deploy X in the amount of units and you pay one action per card and then you pay the cost of the units. Okay, the cost of the units is what's on the top left and you pay one action per card. So I think what I'm going to do is um actually what i'll do is i'll deploy these three all right so that's going to cost me three actions uh wait one two three yeah it's going to cost me three actions and three energy one two three one two three and this everything goes into my war zone so all your planets all your attachments to planets all your group troops and everything it all goes to your war zone and you sort of want to display them out like this so you can see their strength at the bottom of the card and there you go that was my first well it's actions because deploying troops makes your you spend more action so it could be that you're out of sync with the other players but that's normal so let's go to the second player and these are the cards that he decided to start with and i think what he's going to do is because he's got uh what does he have here he's got uh, two flight let's see two flight and one ground i think he's going to go for the uh this world right over here so what he's gonna do he's gonna spend three energy and three actions to place this down one two three one two three there you go so now let's do the same thing for player three um this player i mean being last you don't have to race for planets because he already knows that the first and second player are gonna get a planet but you know what just to make the video go much faster I think what he's going to do is going to show you how, um, oh, let's see, he also wanted to do two and one, and nobody had the, the power to take that down. Um, 
So I guess what he's going to do is he's going to spend time getting cards. Because what he wants is because this card works really well with the mystic, mystical brotherhood icons, he's going to try to get this card right away. So what he's going to do is he's going to spend one action and one energy to draft in this card. So he's going to play one and one. And what's going to happen, he's going to take this card and he's going to put it in his, his discard. Okay. All right, back to me. All right, I got one card left in my hand, but that's not what I want to do, obviously. What I want to do is I want to invade. So invasion normally costs one action and one energy, but hey, because first blood is out, it's free. So, like we already know, I want to invade this planet here. And this planet needs zero fleet strength and two ground strength. And look at this. I have at least two ground strength in my fleet here. Uh, I'll trigger this ability later. But essentially, I have the requirement, so I'm going to invade this planet. What I like to do is if a planet doesn't have any special ability, I just uh, uh, tuck this underneath my other planet so it doesn't take up a lot of table space. If not, this game takes up too much table space. There you go. So now, whenever you invade, you have an option to actually garrison a unit underneath that planet. And it's a way of thinning out your deck, and it's very recommended that you do so, so you don't draw these crappy units later on in the game. So I'm going to take this unit and garrison them underneath. All right, there you go. Now, normally you would discard everything, but because I have a med bot, if you read its uh, text, it says, after invasion, you may retain any one infantry or starfighter you use to conquer, uh, then you have to discard this. So I'll discard this and I'll retain this infantry in my battle war zone area. And there you go, that was my action for the round. I invaded a planet. Now, invading a planet is great because some of them give you points, that one didn't, but more importantly, it gives you energy so that next turn I have four energy instead of just three. All right. All right, so now we're gonna go to second player. I think what they're gonna do is, uh, like we already saw, they have two and one as their strength. So they're gonna go for this one here. So they'll defeat this one. This one does give them a victory point, so they're ahead. Um, they're gonna garrison the grunt underneath the world. All right, they're gonna discard their other two cards. And that was their turn. So now we're gonna jump off to uh, player three here. He's gonna go and let's see, he has a choice. He can actually go get another card, draft another card if he wants. Um, does he wanna draft another card? Uh, sure, let him draft another card. Might as well. So let's see. Uh, he's going to end up playing two, which is fine. All right, so let him pay one energy and one action. And I think he's going to draft another card and he's going to go get the Herald. Um, one thing you do want to track down is when you draft the card is also the, uh, the, 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 uh, the, galactic order icon that's on the left here uh they'll get you a lot of tokens on the board and it'll make you more versatile because you can spend those to do a bunch of different things like get extra actions uh, get a discount get energy so on and so on and so on so he's going to drop this one it'll go into his discard okay then we're back to me all right i got two energy and one action left um i think i desperately want to draft at least a card this round so i'm going to pay my action and one energy because they all cost one energy and which card do i want um none of them really have uh the icons that i really want this is the this not a great card i think i'm just going to grab this this one over here which uh, basically allows me to draft the card getting a token there but he can power up himself with that token. So anyway, either way, I'll explain to you when he comes out of my deck. So he costs one, which I already paid for. He's going to go to my discard. I'm going to go to player two, who is going to also pay one action and one energy to draft a card. I think they're going to draft the, uh, I mean, between these two cards, none of them are great. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll get the Star Cruiser, might as well. So we'll take this. Then player three, who's got plenty of cards in his hand. He's got two actions left. I think he's going to end up playing... Uh, let's see. 
got three energy and two actions so i think what he's gonna do he's gonna play his phantom ship actually he can't because this one could only be deployed when you do an invasion so he can't even play this card so i think what he's gonna do he's gonna deploy both his star fighters snub fighters and maybe next turn he'll go for this one because it needs three and he's gonna have already two on the board so he's gonna play both of these and that's gonna take care of his actions and everything so uh going around the table we're all at zero action so we're all gonna pass so there you go we're done that was the round okay so that was the action phase next we're gonna do the discard phase so now anyone with cards in their hand could keep at most one card but have to discard everything else uh do i really want to keep a snub fighter in my hand no i do not let's discard it all right and then we lose all the energy that we might have had still in our uh, pool here. So I'm going to go down to zero. Second player is going to go down to zero. And third player was already at zero, so, so he's fine. Um, let me discard cards in their hand. He's going to discard that one. And I think third player has to discard a card as well. Yeah, he's going to keep his phantom ship and discard his grunt. And there you go. So that was the discard phase. Now we're going to do the end the turn phase pretty simple we're going to move the round tracker up one and we're going to gain the amount of actions depicted on the card so we're all going to gain four actions four 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 and there you go that was a full round so now let's go to round two all right so round two so let's go in order so look at the bottom of your card here so draw phase so remember you draw up to six. One, two, three, four five six trying to do this with one hand two three four five six all right i'm done uh and then i get to read my card again it says if the number of worlds i have is above the units i draw another card so that's still true i have one so i have two worlds and one unit so i'll draw another card all right i'm gonna do that for the other players in one little second so that was the draw phase next we're gonna do the energy phase Again, the first two phases you can do all simultaneously around the table, right? Because it's not really important what everyone's doing. So energy phase, so I'm going to start off at four, which is great. Let's see if I have any energy surges this round. I do. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to play it. And uh, unfortunately, I have the most energy between all my planets while tied with second player. So I'm only going to gain a plus one. Okay. And now what do I want to do this round? So... Um, I don't, you don't get to actually see the planets that came out unless they get carried over from the previous round so I don't really get to see what's out there so I don't know what I'm gonna need so I think I'm gonna end up playing my uh, my beast rider for sure that costs only one energy because of his special ability because I have an infantry out there so that's gonna need one energy uh, maybe I'll put out my Lord as well that's another two so that's three energy uh, Maybe I'll put at least out one snub fighter in case I need to attack the, uh, I need fleet strength. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, four energy. Oh boy. Uh, so I think I'm going to for sure discard two cards. I'm going to discard these two cards uh, to gain plus one energy. And there you go. I think I'm good to go. Again, I'm going to do that for the other players in a couple of seconds. Uh, but then after the energy phase is the galactic phase. That's where we fill the cards. So the first thing you do is you remove any cards that have energy tokens on them because they're very old cards. All right, there's none because the second round again. Next, you're gonna add a energy token on all the cards that are currently out there. All right, and then you're gonna refill the pool. All right, so remember we always have to have number of players times two plus two, so eight cards. So there's already two, three, four, five six seven eight and there you go that's what we're gonna have for the round okay i can remove the other ones from the game because starting round three we're gonna take from the two stacks but i'll just keep it there for now let me sort these in order okay so let me organize the other players and i'll be right back for my turn actually one thing i did forget to do at the end phase is push the first player marker to the next player so the second player is actually gonna be first player so let me organize them. I'll be right back. All right. So second player is first and I set him up. Uh, so he's only keeping four cards in his hand for right now. Uh, and I think what he's going to do is going to race for one of these uh, planets because 
you can sort of only get one of them. So he's going to want to make sure that nobody uh, steals it from under his nose. So I think what he's going to do is he's going to actually play uh, three here so he can go for the... Uh, uh, yeah, he'll go for the double here. Because he sort of knows that the third player wants to get this one because it'll come with an extra energy and plus is a point. So he's going to play these three. So it's going to cost him three actions and three energies. One, two, three. Also, you got to remember that we're still in first blood because still no event came out so still it won't get replaced so until one of them replaces it the invasion is free All right uh, so he's gonna play this in his war zone area all right he's gonna keep this card now we're gonna go to third player and I think he's gonna go invade right away so what he's gonna do is he's gonna show you how these tactic cards work so he has two snub fighters in his area so it says during an invasion, add two fleet strength if you have at least two starfighters participating. So he does have two uh, starfighters participating. So this costs one energy, so he's going to play one energy. He still doesn't have to pay an energy or a uh, uh, action to invade. So he's going to invade this planet here. And he needs at least three. This adds a plus two to his two snub fighters, so that's a four. So he's going to discard this. He's going to successfully invade this, so we're going to discard the token. He's going to gain plus one energy because of that token. So I'll give him that energy back. He's going to gain this planet. He's going to garrison one of his snub fighters underneath. And he's going to discard his other snub fighter. That was his action for the turn. Alright, now down to me. Um, I think what I want to do is sort of recruit a card right away or draft a card because I really like these mining cards because I did have that mining colony card which I need to get tokens on that card to make it worthwhile. So I think I'm going to definitely grab this uh, Enviro Trooper card. So that's going to cost me one energy and one action to grab it. I do really love this bomber as well. Unfortunately this one works maybe a bit better in my strategy. So it's going to cost me one and one. I'm going to grab this and put it in my discard. There you go. That was my action. Now I'm going to go back to second player here. And uh, at this point, he's not too worried about somebody stealing the world he wants out because neither first or third player could invade anything next round anyway. So I think he's going to dive for one of these cards first. Um, and I think he's going to go get the bomber, the card that I like. So he's going to lose uh, one energy and one action to get this card. He's going to go into his discard. Let's jump to third player. I think he's just going to start playing some cards down. Um, he's got four actions and five energy. So I think he's going to play all his three cards here. It's going to cost him three actions and three energy. So one, two, three. One, two, three. All right. He's going to keep these. It's going to go into his uh, war zone uh, area. Now back to me. And let's see. Uh, I think I'm going to go invade a world as well. I think I'm going to go invade the, this one. So I need at least another ground troop for this. Um, do I, I don't have enough for anything else, to be fair. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play my Beast Rider and maybe a Grunt. So let me see what do I have. Uh, invading is free. So I want to play at least two units so I can draft maybe another card after. Let's see. I could drop this now and then play my cards and then invade later, but somebody else might be able to get this before me. Uh, actually, no, it's impossible because uh, third player already invaded, second player is going to invade this one this turn, so I'm free to sort of grab a card now. So that's what I'll do. So I think I'm going to go grab this card here, and this card is going to cost me one action and one energy. There you go. So I'm going to grab the card, it's going to go to my discard, but I'm going to gain one energy because of the token. I'm not a huge fan of this card, but you know what, it's going to give me some uh, tokens on the green uh, card, which is pretty good. Um, and there you go, that was my turn. So now we're going to jump to second player, and they're going to invade. It's going to cause zero actions because of the first blood, so the one that they want is this one here for sure. So they're going to send 
So that's what they have in their war zone. So they're gonna obviously has two attack uh, fleet. It has two attack fleet. So he's gonna garrison one of them underneath. So he doesn't have to see this card again. Thinning your deck. All right. And then he's gonna discard the medbot to keep the starfighter in his war zone. Just exactly what I did last time. So he's pretty much done for the turn. He has no more actions. Now we're gonna go to third player and he's got one action. <laughs> he already invaded this turn. Uh, he's got one action, one energy left and pretty much nothing else for him to do. He'll just grab this card even though it's not a great card, but you know, cards are these cards are better than the base cards that you have in your deck. So he'll take this card, it'll cost him one of each. There you go, so he's pretty much done. Now I'll go to my player board area. So we already know I want to play cards. So I want to play the Beast Rider. So this one... Actually, I don't need to play it. One second here. So I need to spend two actions and I have five energy. So I can spend two cards. So let me see, what do I want to do? Um, I can play both these cards because they're kind of garbage. And then store one of my grunts underneath the new planet I'm going to gain. So that's what I'll do. I'm gonna play. Actually, I have a better idea. <laughs> because I have so much energy, I'm actually gonna play my Lord Banner here to cost two energy. And I'm gonna play my uh, Galactic Grunts. So that's gonna cost me three energy and two actions in total. Okay. Um, that was my action. The other two players already passed because they're out of actions. It comes back to me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go invade, but I'm only going to invade with my two grunts. I'm going to leave him in my war zone. So with both of them, they give me two ground strength. And this one needs two ground strength. So I'm going to invade this planet here. I'm going to place one of these grunts to garrison the planet. I'm going to discard the other one. Again, no special ability, so I'm just going to you know, tuck it underneath. Right, when I start getting some special abilities, I'll start splaying them out over here, but for now, that's fine. All right, and that cost me zero and zero, because remember, first blood is still out. I gotta keep reminding you. So until this event gets covered up, our invasions are free. There you go. Um, I did finish the round with two cards in my hand. Um, I think what I am gonna do is, uh, okay, so everyone's passing. So we all pass, we all have zero actions, zero actions. So it's gonna be the, uh, discard phase so remember you lose all the energy that you have left uh, let me do that for the other players okay now everyone's going to discard down to one card or zero cards uh, do i really want to keep this beast uh, rider in my hand he is strong for one for one energy i can end up playing a two strength military unit yeah sure let me keep him although i do want to cycle through my deck a bit more so to get those special units out. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually not going to keep them. I'm going to discard it. Okay. And then we're going to do the end phase. So I'm going to do the discard for the other players in a couple seconds. So the end phase, we're going to move the token over. And right, we're going to set everyone's action to five now. All right. And pretty much we're ready to go to the next round. All right. Following round, round three. Um... I did, again, forget to pass first player marker. It's going to go to the third player this time. So let's start from the top. So it's the draw phase. Over there. So again, I'm going to draw seven cards. Because remember, if my planets is more than my units, uh, I'm going to draw an extra card. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, I only have two cards left in my draw pile. So I'm going to keep these. But I get to this uh, shuffle my discard. So maybe some of those new cards that I got are going to start appearing. Right. So then I get to draw five more. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. So that's the draw phase. Now we're going to go to the energy phase. So I'm going to have five energy. Three, four, five. With five actions. Let's see. Do I get any energy surges? No, I do not. Um, so what do I want to do? Do I want to discard two cards to get a plus one energy? Usually you want to do it at least once because you're never going to be able to play all your cards in a turn so might as well discard them for plus one energy maybe it'll be worthwhile in the long run so i think i'm going to get rid of my two snub fighters 
Uh, I mean, well, I'll get rid of a. Yeah, I'll get rid of my two snub fighters because why not? So that's gonna give me plus one energy. Let's see. So if I calculate this, uh, let's see, what does he do? Science icons, this is a mining icon. Uh, I mean, this guy's gonna allow me to get a lot of ground strength. If with one energy, I can get the three, and then I have a ton of air strength, and then I have a grunt for a garrison if I need, or a snub fighter for a garrison. All right, so I think I'm good to go. So I already did that for the other players. Now we get to galactic phase. Which is, first thing, remove any tokens with energy icons on them. There are none. We're going to add one to all the cards that I have. And now, because we're in round three, we're going to grab from the two deck. So I'm going to take this, give it a quick shuffle. So how many cards do we have to show? Number of players, times two, plus two. All the time. All right, so let's flip these over. One, two. Sorry, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we got two of the exact same card there. So patrol cruiser, what does it say? Actually, this would be great for me because this is another mining card and I want to get tokens on the mining cards. This is after invasion. If you have more faction tokens in the mining coalition than every other Every other single player, you may spend one energy to retain their ship in your war zone. Wow, that would be really good on my deck. And this one is, during your draw phase, you may discard one card from your hand to draw a new card from the top of your deck. Wow, that's pretty good as well. Okay, so let's look at these icons here. So you need two and two, three and two, two and two, and three and three. Wow, okay, so now you're going to start seeing more uh, planets with a higher requirement uh, going on. So... Also, a couple of things to note. This one is actually two energy, zero points. Two energy, zero points. This is actually one energy, one point. I am behind. The other two players have uh, planets with a point on it. And this one's actually two and one, which is fantastic. I think I'm going to try to get this one for sure. And this one actually reduces my capital ships. Uh, uh, gives them a lower cost. Minus one energy to deploy them. So maybe I'll start getting a ton of uh, capital ships. Um, all right. So let's do that. Uh, third players first. He's got a ton of guys already deployed, and I think, let's see, uh, one energy for each hero in your war zone that counts as part of your total energy generation. Let's see what he has. Let's see what he has. Let's see what he wants to do. So I think what he wanted to do was just deploy a bunch of stuff and then go invade. Um, so what he's gonna do is he's got five actions and six energy i think what he's going to do is just deploy his three troops that he has so two three four all right that's going to cost him four energy and cost him three actions one two three one two three four also we do have to note that the new cards here they do cost two now instead of one um also we still didn't get another uh event so this one's still in play and that's great for us because it makes actually our engines flow better because we don't have to waste an action or an energy to invade so he played his cost for these he's gonna play them down all right so that was his turn then we're gonna go to my turn and let's see do i go for this card right away or do i deploy a bunch of stuff to invade later I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go see what the other players do with the planets and then I'm going to deploy. So what I'm going to do is definitely going to go buy this card. All right, so this is going to cost me two energy and one action point. And it's going to go my discard. All right, so now we're going to go to player two. He's going to look at his hand. And what does he have? He's got a ton of air, air units. Look at this. Call air and only one for uh, although he does have the bomber and the bomber is awesome because for one energy you can give himself two to ground strength and I think he has absolutely no choice because everything needs at least two and he can't actually generate two unless he puts out his bomber so he's gonna play out his bomber for sure so that's gonna be two let me just calculate this so that's gonna be two so let's see if you wanted to play at least three uh, units 
See, this one's going to cost five. That's going to be way too expensive. So he's not going to play this. And the flying ace is really, really strong. I should have drafted this card. He's really good. So I think he's going to play him, him. <coughs> and... And maybe the med bot. So that's going to be five. Yeah, so he's going to play all that. He's going to keep these two cards in his hand. So he's going to play this. That's going to cost him five in total. Two, four, five. And it's going to cost him three actions. One, two, three. And so he's down to two actions and one energy left. So he won't be able to activate his flying ace, but actually he needed the energy for this. Yeah, so he's perfect. He's good to go. He's going to add this to his war zone. Now we're going to jump to player three. And I think what he's going to do is try to invade a, <laughs> a planet, obviously, because he's not going to play these. They're tactics. He can't play this. He doesn't even have two, two guys and he doesn't want to play this because he doesn't need it. Okay. So what he's going to do is he's going to go after the one that I wanted. So he's going to go for the capital ship one. All right. So this one's going to need three and three. So let me look at his cards. Um, Actually, he doesn't even have enough. He doesn't have enough ground strength to do that. So he's going to go for the next best one. Three and two. He is behind in energy, so he does want a thing of three. All right, so he'll take Prometheus here. And this one needs three and two. So he's going to get rid of... A lot of units. Sorry about that. So he needed three and two. So there you go. It's gonna be three and two. None of these cards have special abilities. Uh, his hero doesn't do much. Um, so this one gives him a discount for his uh, capital ships in his war zone, which he does not. So he's gonna store a, uh, a grunt underneath this planet here. And now it gives him a special ability and plus two energy generation. And we'll discard the rest of his cards. There you go. So he still has two units in his battlefield. Actually, you know what he's going to do? He's going to discard his med bot to keep the uh, the twin laser in on the battlefield. So he's going to keep his stronger unit on the battlefield. There you go. All right, back to me. So I already drafted a card. I don't think I want any of these cards, so I'm okay. So now let's look at these planets. I'm gonna need at least two ground strength, maybe three, and at least two air and maybe three. So let's see what I can do. Um, can I even generate these ground strength? I can with either of these cards. Um, Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play my cyber unit and I'll show you what happens. So by playing hit, he's going to make me put a token on the uh, order of the science guild here. So this is going to cost two energy. So I do want to, let's see, I do want to invade, but it costs me no energy. So I can actually put in four units on my battlefield and still be able to invade. All right, so I'm going to put, but I only have four energy left. All right, so I can only put four energy worth of guys down. So I think what I'm going to do is maybe do this. Is this going to be enough? Uh, let me see. No, I need air strength. So I need to put in my mining vessel for sure. All right, so I'll show you how this is done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play both of these cards. All right, so I'm going to play my mining vessel and my, uh, my uh, cyber cyborg unit here actually let me think about this for a sec um i wish i had another energy i should have discarded more cards at the start of the round you see i didn't think this straight uh,
All right, I think I'm going to have to either go for this one or this one because I think this one's going to go to the second player because he doesn't have the ground strength to get this one. So this one's going to be available or this one. So I think what I'm going to do is go for this one. Okay? So I'm going to try to play as many units as I can. Okay, so this one's only going to cost one if I have this one in play. Uh, but I still need an air airship. So this is what I'm going to do. There you go. Oh, this is if there are no other infantry units in my war zone. Aha! Sorry, I was reading it wrong. I thought there had to be infantry units. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play this, which costs one, because I have no infantry in my war zone. I'm going to play this, cost two. So that's three in total, and I have one more, and I think I'm going to play this snub fighter. There you go, there's my four. Done. There you go, so that cost me four energy and three actions. Well, sorry about that, that took a while. I still didn't play this card, I think I'm gonna keep it for next round and play it and you'll see how the token gets on there. Okay, so let's jump to second player. Uh, he's got two actions, one energy left, so I think he's gonna go invade uh, before the stuff that he wants goes away. So this is what he has, he's a flying ace, a bomber, a metabot and a snub fighter. So I think what he's gonna do is he's gonna spend one energy to actually make his bomber uh, get plus two ground strength. So this is a one two. And then what he's gonna do is he's also gonna use his snub fighter. So this is a two two. All right, and he's gonna send his medbot as well. So he's gonna keep his uh, flying ace in his area. All right, there you go. So now he's got 2-2, two, two, so he's going to take this one here. So he's going to give him an energy back. He's going to keep this. He's going to store a uh, snub fighter underneath the planet as a garrison. And he's going to discard his medbot to keep this uh, starfighter in his war zone. There you go, that was his turn. Now we're going to jump to player 3. And he's got two actions. Um, he did already attack a world this turn, so he's not going to do that anymore. So he's got two energy and two actions, so I think he's going to grab a card. I think he's going to go for this uh, this patrol cruiser here. And basically this, will gonna, this is going to take all his energy away, so he's going to have an action left over. But he doesn't really have another choice, that's what he's going to do. That's going to go to his discard. Let's see what else he has. Yeah, pretty much. That's what it's going to be. Now we're going to jump to my turn. So I have one one action and zero energy left. Um, uh, oh yeah, I want to... Uh, obviously, I want to conquer a world. So I think I'm going to go for the 2-2 two -two because... Uh, actually, this doesn't have an ability. Damn. <laughs> I keep getting uh, messed up here. Let's see, 3-3, three, three. can I get 3-3? Three, three? I cannot. 3. If I had one more energy, I could have, because this would give me... Actually, I do have 3-3. Three, three. This is 3, and this is 3. Look at that! I didn't even calculate that properly. Alright, so that's what I'm going to do. So this is 3 fleet strength, and this is 3 uh, ground strength. There you go, perfect. So I'm going to go attack this one. So let me attack this one. And I think what I'm going to do is put the snub fighter in garrison underneath. Uh, this one does have an ability. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to play it here. And these attachments all are, are exactly the same. It's just a way of thinning out your deck. It's part of the expansion. And basically, uh, during the energy phase, if you have three or more worlds, which I do and everyone else does, uh, you may place one card in your hand beneath the city. It's basically another way to thin out your deck. So during the future energy phase, I can store a card underneath here just to thin out my deck. Right, so I'm just going to hide that because you don't really need to see it. And basically I discard everything else. All right, there you go. That was my turn. So that didn't even cost me an action because remember, the first blood is still out there. Okay, so now we're going to jump to player two, and they're going to use one action, and oh, he's only got one energy left and one action. He can't even buy a card because they all cost two energy. 
Oh well, that's fine. But he have to. He has to pass. He can't do anything else. Uh, player three is actually gonna pass as well because he can't do anything with zero energy. And finally, I have zero energy as well, so I'm gonna pass too. There you go, done. Uh, so I got absolutely nothing <laughs> in my tableau, whereas the other players have a bunch of stuff. Okay, so let's go to the discard phase. So discard phase, again, I got two cards in my hand. I think I'm going to discard the Grunt for sure. And I'm going to keep this card so I can play him next turn. Alright, everyone's going to also discard any energy they might have left over. So I'm at zero, that's fine. Okay, then we're going to go to end phase. I'm going to go to round four. I'm going to go up to five actions. All right, and there you go. That's the end of another round. Sorry, one thing I did forget to do last turn is when uh, player two played their uh, bomber, I was supposed to add a token here, which would have reduced the cost of a card that they want to draft by three. So that's what they're going to do. They're going to discard this card so that they would have drafted the, uh, the scout ship that was there. So I'll discard this. And there you go. Sorry about that. Now let's start back up to the top. Round four, draw phase. I'm gonna draw seven cards because I got no units, so my worlds are more than my units. So, one, actually, I only draw six because I'm carrying over one card from the previous round. One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. So, what do I get? A bunch of stuff. All right. So, uh, now, energy phase. Uh, let's go see. Let's go see. So, I'm gonna gain uh, two. Five, six, seven by default. Okay, this one. So I might want to go get some capital ships. That might be useful for me. Do I have any in my hand? I do not. I got a vehicle. Not very useful. All right. Now, do I want to discard cards to get more more energy? Uh, probably. This is going to give me an extra two energy because somebody else generates more energy than me. I'm at nine. I actually don't. Actually, I don't think I will discard any cards. Uh, you know what? I'm good. I'm good. I think I'm gonna play a lot of cards this round. All right, there you go. So now we're gonna do Galactic Phase. So Galactic Phase, like usual, fill up the cards, discard the cards with tokens. I'll add tokens to the board. Get more, more cards. So remember, number of players times two plus two, eight. So three, four. Hey, finally an event change. Five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one more. Eight, there you go. This one has absolutely no ability, but it's a pretty strong fighter here. Now we can pretty much re remove those uh, the number two deck from the game because we're going to move on to deck three next round. Okay, so... Again, I forgot to pass this over, so I'm going to be first player. So let's look at my hand. And uh, none of these cards look that interesting, to be honest. So I think I'm going to go for a planet right away. And I think I need to go for something with points. It would be great. Actually, what does this one do? This one needs five fleet strength. It says if you possess more faction tokens in the Galactic Senate, uh, Galactic Senate, this one here. Uh, then every, then anybody else. My energy surge tokens give me plus one energy. Yeah, it's a way to get extra energy. Not bad. So this one or this one be great. This one for points because I, I only have one planet with points and everyone else has uh, two. So let's see, what can I do? Not much because <laughs> the strength of my guys is not great. Um, I don't even have. Let's see, during an invasion. You may spend one energy to add one fleet strength for every vehicle. So this can be, this could be two fleet. This could be one fleet and three ground. So I'm already at two fleet. So this is gonna be three fleet. I don't have enough. I clearly don't have enough. The only things I could attack are these two, and they're both exactly the same. So that's not great. Uh. As an action, draw a card for each of your faction tokens. Draw a card. This one. I can flip my cards over, which isn't bad. Uh, 
Eh. I don't really care. I needed capital ships. None of nothing came out. <laughs> All right. So, uh, to be honest, I can't really do much. I wish I could have gotten to this four to get the two points, but it doesn't look like I can. Uh, let's see. I'll add a green token here, deploy cost minus whatever, and then I'll add a token here, which allows me to draft for less. So that's not great either. All right, so let me just deploy cards and we'll see where we can get. All right, so I do have a ton of energy, so I'll play a ton of cards. I think I'm going to play... Uh, actually, I think I'm going to play these three cards. See, this cost me an energy. All right, that's fine. So I'm going to play these three cards. So this is going to cost me two, three, four, five. Five in total. It's going to cost me three action. There you go. Uh, now, whenever you remember, deploy a card with one of these icons, you get to put a faction token on there. So I get to put one on this icon and one on this icon. So one here, one here. So you can read them. This one allows me to uh, subtract three from a draft cost from a card. And this one allows me to subtract three from the deploy cost of a card. So it'll give me some versatility going forward. Okay, so let me go to player two. Let's see. Let's see if anyone can get to that five. Uh, and I think he can definitely get there because he has the flying ace, which has all kinds of uh, strength to his fleet. So this one he can... Uh, Galactic Senate. So he needs a token on Galactic Senate and he'll be able to get five on his own. So is there a way for him to get a token on Galactic Senate? Unfortunately not. Um, let's see, with this snub fighter he'll get the four. Then he needs two ground forces, and there you go. So with this he'll be able to attack the four two. So that's what he's gonna do, he's gonna play these right away. So this is gonna cost him three and three actions. So one, two, three, and one, two, three. So he's gonna put this on the board. Alright, now he'll keep the rest of this stuff on the side. Let's go to player three. What does player three want to do? Oh, he's got a lot of tokens here that he can put out. Um, so let's see, can he reach five? He can draw a card. Yeah. So he can get the four. He could get the five because he already has the uh, the twin fighter there. So with uh, four plus, he already has three out actually. He just needs to put out a thing at two. So what he's going to do is, and then this gives him ground strength, which is fantastic. So you know what? He's going to play all his cards. That's fine. So he's going to play four here. One, two, three, four, and three. One, two, three, three actions to play this. And then next turn, he's going to definitely attack this spot here. So he's going to keep this card. Alright, we'll go to me. And I'm pretty much hurting. <laughs> I don't like my cards. Uh, my other cards aren't great either. Uh, maybe I should have discarded some of these. Uh, actually, I just thought of something. Sorry. I should have actually played my Snub Fighter instead of my Medbot. Sorry about that. Because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go attack. So, uh, I think I'm going to send them all in to attack one of those 2-2 two, two places. So, it's going to cost me one action and one energy. Remember, now the... Uh, um, actually, we forgot to resolve this event. Whoops! Let me just resolve it. You can use an action to lose to draw three cards. Okay, nobody would have done that because action points are better than cards. <laughs> Alright, so never mind. So, I spent one of each. I'm going to spend all my guys here to go attack one of these and it doesn't really matter might as well just attack uh... actually you know what I'm gonna attack this one so that this one gets discarded so we get newer cards next round so I'm gonna attack this one I'm gonna put my snub fighter underneath there you go I'm gonna discard all this and that was my action for the turn so let's go to the next player 
So what does two want to do? I think he's going to go attack as well. He wants to get this one here. So he wants to discard a four and a two. So you can definitely do that. So he's got two grunts. So that's going to take care of the two ground forces on this card. Right now he needs four flying. Uh, there you go. There's four. Two, three, four. So he's going to discard his whole tableau. Um, you know what he's going to do instead? He's actually going to pay the one energy to get plus two ground so he can keep these two cards in his tableau. He's going to pay the energy for that. So he only needs this because this is costs, uh, counts as his two ground. Uh, and then he's going to store this underneath the card. Just like that. So these get discarded. And now Mr. 3 is going to go. And he's going to go for his 5. So again, let's see what he can do. Uh, so this is 2. Three, four. Actually, he forgot to draw a card when he played this. Let me draw a card now. Doesn't really matter. This is two, three, four. And for five, he's going to use the Snub Fighter so you can put the Snub Fighter underneath. There you go. Five. So he's going to discard these two. Oops. He's going to put this in his tableau. So he really wants Galactic Senate uh, token so that he can produce more energy. Alright, um, that was his turn. Back to me. So I got one action and three energy left. So I think I'm going to grab a card. Uh, what do I do? I can get Starfighters or Infantry. Which one should I get? I don't really think I'm going to grab a Tactics card. Uh, so guns add to your strength and this uh, mystic thing just allows you to draw, draw a card. So I think I'm going to grab the, uh, the super strong starfighter here. He doesn't have an ability which isn't great but you know what? it's a unit that I can put down and he can power me up as well in either the fleet or ground strength. So that's good. That's going to cost me two and an action. It's going to go there. Now player two is going to go, Oops. player two is going to go, he's got one action and four energy left, I think he's going to grab a card as well, he's going to pay two and two, he's going to grab this one, and then player three is going to grab a card, and I think which one he's going to take, <sighs> I think he's going to grab this one for his last action. There you go, we're all done. Um, let's go to discard phase. So I think he's going to keep this card and discard this card. And see second player here is going to discard this card and keep this card. Get rid of his energy. Let's go to my player board. Let's see, I got, I got a ton of cards. I should have discarded these cards. Uh, should I keep any of these? No, I don't want to keep any of these cards because they suck. So get rid of that. Um, so that was the discard phase. Now we're going to go end phase. I'm going to pass this to the next player. He's going to be first player. And end phase, we're going to move the round tracker. We're going to set each player to five actions. And there you go. Let's go to the next round. All right, next round. So start with the draw phase like usual. Uh, so I'm going to draw seven cards because I got no units again. So it's only three. Let's shuffle this quick, quick. So four more. One, two, three, four. Let's card this. So now I'm gonna go energy phase. Um, yeah, there you go, energy phase. So I'm gonna discard uh, an energy surge. So I do generate nine. So two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm gonna be at 10 with the energy surge. And there you go. So, now do I want to get rid of a card from my hand? Sure. Let's get rid of this grunt. I'm going to get rid of it using my, uh, my city here to store it underneath that card. Basically just means remove it from the game. Let's do that. Alright, so I'm going to go into the next round with these cards. And let's see. I'm going to get to play three. Let's see. One, two, three. Draft one card and invade. Uh, still going to... Well, at least I got options, right? 
yeah at least i got options <laughs> i have a bunch of air stuff a bunch of ground stuff i'll see what happens all right so there was my energy phase i'm gonna go in with 10 energy which is pretty high now we're gonna do galactic phase so any cards that has energy tokens on it remove from the game there's a two put it back so now we're gonna refill so this one gets an energy token on it grab from the three deck now All right, we're gonna need seven more cards. So one, two, three. So all of these cost three now. Four, five, six. So we're gonna keep going because we still don't have uh, three worlds. Oh, there you go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There you go, we got nine cards. There, it's been, it's bound to happen that there's a round where you're going to just draw the exact same type of card over and over again and you'll have like 10 of these cards and three of these cards or so on and so on. Okay, there you go. So we're ready to go. Uh, first player is going to be second player. I'm actually going to set up their boards and figure out what they want to do and I'll come back. All right, so second player is first. Well, first player is front. <laughs> All right, so I think what he's going to do is uh, he's ready. He's got five actions, nine energy. Uh, but I think he's definitely gonna grab this card because he needs a way to power up his uh, His fighter ace and he needs uh, to generate these blue tokens And this is the only one that's come up so far on in one of his turns So I think he's definitely gonna spend an action and three energy to take this card and put it in his discard Grab that. And there you go, that was his turn. So now we're gonna jump off to player three So I haven't really decided what he wants to do yet. He doesn't have that great card that great of a card uh, display here uh, kind of garbage he won't be able to invade anything I don't think actually let's see he's gonna need at least three and four uh, could he generate another he needs another uh, needs another flight strength he can't actually generate so he won't be able to invade anything this round so I think what he's going to do is grab cards because that's what he's going to do. So, uh, this, Mi this Mystic Brotherhood are great cards for him. So, although this is kind of a garbage card. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I think what he's going to do is get this heavy, heavy repeating assault unit. Yeah, so he's going to do that. Let's see if he can grab a bunch of infantry. Actually, this one's pretty good too. Wow, that's pretty good. But Wow, okay, this one's actually really good for him because he always has extra energy, so he's going to be able to add plus two to this card, which is great. So he's going to spend one, energy, uh, one action and three energy to grab this and put in his discard. Right, there you go. Now right, we're going to go to me. Um, let's see. So I already know I won't be able to invade anything either unless I invade this one. Uh, I need to generate points. <laughs> this one's not bad. It's only one point and three energy. Ideally, I'd get this one. This is amazing. That's uh, two and two points though. Uh, so maybe I'm going to grab a card first and then I'm going to go for one of these. Unfortunately, every time I look here, there's never a freaking capital ship. <laughs> never, never, never. So if I keep getting starfighters, I do have this capital ship, which deploys a negative one right now. Okay, this is super versatile. You get three of either side. So I think I'm going to grab this card. So it's going to cost me one and three. One, two, three, and one action. I'm going to grab this card and play it. Uh, put him on this card. All right, back to player two. Uh, they only have six energy left, and I think they want to play cards. So they're going to play cards to their uh, display area. And I think what they're gonna do is, boy, they wanna play all of these. Uh, then they're gonna keep their flying ace in their hand and play these. So it's gonna be three, four, five, six. 
and it's gonna also cause three actions. Right. They're going to have a token on uh, this one and the Mystic uh, Brotherhood. So this one. And this one. There you go. Okay, so now let's go to player three. So I think this might be the last round where I show you what everyone's doing. Now I'm just going to fast forward after this, I think. Uh, I think they're going to do the exact same thing. Unfortunately, they have all garbage cards here. So they're going to play four energy and four actions. To pretty much play these cards and none of them have a token so they still don't get any uh... actually I did forget to put a token on uh, when he played the Herald so let me go get a token Sorry about that I'm supposed to have a token there and you'll keep this card so both players are pretty much done they don't have one has no more energy and the other one has no more action so I'm free to do what I want I think and there you go so I got four and seven unfortunately <laughs> Uh, what do I do? Okay, so I think I'm gonna play this for sure. Uh, actually, wait, before I play this, I have a better idea. So I'm gonna play this first. So that's gonna give me a token on the mining colony. Right over there. And that's the only thing I'm gonna deploy this round. That's it. Alright. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play my capital ship. And this costs me two, but minus one because of this. So it's one. And when I deploy it, I gain one energy for each faction token on the mining. So it's free, right? Because this one costs me one, but I gain plus one because of the card itself. All right, so there you go. So that was free. But I forgot to lose my two actions for those two cards. Sorry about that. And this one costed me two. Whoops, sorry. Um, let's see, I got two more actions. Uh, I think I'm going to play this. So that costs another action and two more. And... You know what, instead of playing these two cards, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draft another card. So I'm going to pay one action and three. I grab another card, and which one do I want? This guy is super strong. Wow. Uh, you know what? I will play this. As an action, although I have to waste an action for that. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take the double faint. So that's going to give me a token back, but it's pointless because I won't be able to use it. So it's going to go to my discard. And there you go. I'm pretty much done. All right. Uh, I did play this card, so it gives me a token on the uh, nuclear symbol here. Up here. And there you go. Uh, all right. So discard phase. I got to discard one of these two cards. I think I'm going to discard the Enviro, Enviro Trooper because... Actually, you know what? He does give me icons. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let me discard him. At least next turn I might be able to play him for a discount because people might have more uh, planets than me. And he'll give me a token on the Mining Colony. Uh, I get to lose my actions. Oh, I already paid for that uh, token that I got. All right, I'm pretty much done. Let me do that for the other players. Zero, 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 zero. Let's see, he's got one card left, and I think he's going to keep it. Let's see, he's got one card left, and he's definitely going to keep it. All right, so we're done. Go to end phase. So we're going to give the first player mark to the next player. We're going to move the action tracker. Everyone's going to have five actions. Let me do that. Five. 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 On our board and we're pretty much done all right uh, yeah so there you go we're gonna start round six right now all right start around six so it's the draw phase uh, so I am carrying over one card so I'm gonna draw six cards because I still have uh, more planets than I do units so one two three four five six 
Ти врага, ти врага. Ugh. Terrible, terrible cards. <laughs> All right. Um, then I go energy phase, so I'm still gonna have the nine, I believe, five, six, seven, eight, nine from before. All right, I'm gonna get rid of a uh, energy surge for one. One. Um, now I am gonna get rid of one of these cards. I think I'm gonna get rid of tight formations. Cause I don't think I have any grunts left in my bo uh, or I don't I don't have any more infantry in my deck. I think I got rid of most of them. So I'm gonna get rid of this and put it underneath the city. There you go. And I think I'm gonna keep the rest of my cards, even though they kind of suck. Uh, actually, they're not so bad. I can use my uh... yeah, cause I got a I got a star fighter out there. I can use my. Uh... My assault here to gain plus three with this and maybe take over a planet. So there you go. I'm gonna keep that. Um, I'm gonna do that for the other players, but I'm gonna do the galactic phase first. Uh, first, get rid of anything with tokens, there's none. And add one to each card out there. All right, now we gotta flip some cards over. All right, so we already got five, so we might only have to put three. One, two, And there you go. So let me do that for them and I'll be right back. All right, so actions. We're gonna start with player three here. I already looked at his cards, so I think I already know what he's gonna play. He's gonna play just one card. He's gonna play this massive star cruiser here. It's gonna cost him four and one action. And that's it for him. Now we're gonna go to my turn. And I think I'm gonna play a bunch of stuff as well. So I'm trying to, oops. I'm trying to either get to 6 to attack this one, or 7 to attack this one. Um, toss all these over. This one is just a 0-7. So, let's just store it under here because it has no power. Alright, so I need to get to 7 or 6 strength and 1 military. So right now I do have 4 strength, uh, 4, 4 and 2. I can actually make it... Uh, five and three because this can add plus one to each um, so I don't need much to raise it up right and with this this adds me a plus two anyway so technically I'm at six if I can add one more starfighters well actually I can add to seven so one more starfighter is six and then seven eight I have lots of flexibility here so let me deploy then I'm gonna put in a snub fighter for sure and I'm gonna add, there you go. So I'm gonna play the vehicle. So I'm gonna play two, three, four. It's gonna cost me four and three actions. Um, I also get a token on the, uh, with the Merchant Alliance here. I did forget to give him when he played that Star Cruiser, he had to put a token on the science one. So let me do that. Sorry about that. So it looks like we all have icons there. And there you go, that was my turn. I played those three cards. So I still have these two cards and uh, actually wait. Uh, I had to play this. So actually I needed to save an action so I can... Actually this doesn't cost an action. Okay, so I'm good. Um, yeah, that's fine. All right, so now second player is gonna go. And I think he's got a ton of ground strength. I think he's gonna go for the, actually, what does this give him? Oh, this gives him actually negative one point. That's not good. <laughs> he doesn't want that. Um, let's see, with the retiring ace, he can get to three, four. He can get to four, maybe he'll go for this one here. So that's, that's what he'll do. So he's gonna play, uh, Oh, he actually gets a discount for this because it's minus one energy for each other unit that has a mystic uh, brotherhood icon. So he has one, so this only costs two to play. So you know what he's gonna do? He's gonna play. He's gonna play this. So this is gonna cost him uh, this two, three, four, five in total and three actions. 
let's put this in his area. We'll figure out what he wants to do next. Now, as the third player is going to go, and I think what he's going to do is do an attack. So invade. So he's got a couple of choices. He can go for the seven uh, zero or the six one. Um, he's falling behind on the energy, so maybe he's going to go for this one. So he's going to have to give up 6 and 1, so um, he's going to play Coordinated Assault for 1 energy. That gives him plus 2, so he needs to give up 4 more and 1 ground. So that's what he's going to do. He's going to give up 4, air and one ground, and he's gonna store his grunt underneath the planet. He's also gonna gain a, uh, sorry, gain a energy, because that token was on the card. And these get discarded. Done. Now we're going to go to my turn. I'm pretty much going to do the exact same thing. Uh, but I think I'm going to go for the uh, the, the four-pointer here. Because I'm falling behind on points and i got plenty of energy. So this is going to be a seven. Whoa. So two, three, four, five, six. And I got my coordinated assault here. So I can actually get the eight. Um, so I'll get rid of this. This costs an energy. Uh, during the invasion... Ah, it doesn't even cost me anything. <laughs> so, I just have to discard this. I get plus two. So it's going to be three. Four, five. Uh, there you go. Six, seven. So there you go, seven. I'm going to store the snub fighter underneath. So I'm going to discard the rest. And the snub fighter is going to go underneath uh, this one here. So now my heroes get negative one and my capital ships are negative one. And I discarded the rest. I still have this stuff to carry over. Uh, that would have costed me one action and one energy to do the invasion itself. I did forget to do that for the other player. Sorry about that. And now it's going to be player two's turn. And he's got... Uh... uh I think he's gonna do an invasion. <laughs> Why not? One and one. So he's gonna go for the three and four one here. So he's gonna gain an energy. All right. And basically, he's gotta discard three and four. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna get rid of the this one here. So this is two and one. He needs one more air and three more ground. Um. Doesn't really have a choice here. So he's gonna get rid of his. No, he has to get rid of his flying ace, unfortunately. So there's his four. And for three ground, what he's gonna do is discard two grunts. If I can ever pick them up, I'll show you. There you go. Uh, one, two, three. He's still missing one. So there you go. Maybe he's gonna use a flame trooper instead. There we go. So one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. So it's four, four. Overkill, it's fine. He's going to store his galactic grunt underneath that. Discard the rest. Still has a bunch of units left on his board. All right, then we're going to go to player three, who has um, two actions and five energy left. So he's going to go grab some more cards. And I think he likes the... He's going to grab one of these? Sure. Uh, does he go for the super strong Argo? Six. Or does he go for the Republican Cruiser? I think he's going to go for the Argo. Why not? So this is going to cost him three and one action. So I'll give this to him. Use this card. Then it's my turn. And I think I have five and one action. I think I'm definitely going to go buy a card. This is going to actually cost me four. It's pretty much everything I own. Uh, 
that'll do it for me. Uh, I'll just come back and finish off the turn. All right, there you go. I finished off everyone's turn. Let's do the discard phase. I have only one card in my hand and I think I'm going to keep it because it still is a mining colony card and I can get them down for maybe one next turn. We'll see. Um, uh, ba -ba -ba. I discarded my energy, which is fine. So we're going to go to end phase. I'm going to move this over. We're going to pass the first player marker to me. And we're ready to go to the next round. All right, start the seventh round. You get the idea now. So let's calculate the cards that we're going to get. So I have one card in my hand. I have more planets than units. So I'm obviously going to draw six more cards. One, two, three, four. Unfortunately, I ran out of cards. Let me shuffle up my deck. So my deck is really small now. It's really thin. So I don't think I have any grunt or snub fighters left, or maybe one left of each. Uh, I'm gonna have to draw two more, if I remember correctly. Now energy: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm at ten. I did forget to set my action marker to five. So let's look at my cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I do have an energy burst. I'm gonna play it. Uh, I believe it's gonna give me two energy because somebody else is generating 11. But let me double, double check. Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, correct, 11. So I'm gonna get two for that. All right. And. I think I'm gonna remember my capital uh, city there. I can store something. So I think I'm gonna get rid of my snub fighter and store it under the city again. All right. And I think I'm gonna keep the rest. And pretty much use them all this round. All right, so uh, let's do the galactic phase. So uh, we're gonna get rid of cards with tokens. This is a level three, get rid of it. We're going to start the four deck now. Shuffle it a bit. Uh, I add a token onto this one. All right, so let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, new event. I did forget to read the last event. Sorry about that. It's going way too fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go. So we're gonna have a ton of planets and only three ships and I'm first player and I think I'm gonna go for a ship right away uh, because these are star cruisers and capital ships which I really like and a robot <laughs> what does this robot do uh, speed box costs negative two energy to deploy for each other robot in your war zone well I don't have that many robots so that's useless for me dreadnought cruiser costs negative one energy if you deployed uh, for each starfighter in your war zone wow that's great for me and this one is during your invasion, you may spend up to three energy to add plus one ground strength. To wow, both of these are fantastic. This one actually gives you two points. So I have to really choose between those two. Um, all right, so let me set up the other two players decks and I'll be right back. All right, so it's uh, my turn. I am now first player uh, with the token. Let's get this uh, show on the road. So I definitely want to buy a unit before it disappears. Um, so I got I'm looking at these two over here. So they're really good for me. One's a Star Destroyer, one's a capital ship. They're both great. I think I'm just gonna get this one because uh, since I do have a lot of star fighters in my deck, uh, I'll probably get this one out for cheap. So there you go. I can take this one. So that's gonna cost me actually I could afford this one as well. And it is two points. Man, this tough decision. Oh, you know what? It's gonna cost me six. I'm at twelve energy. Let's see. No, you know what? I can't afford it because the what? I, if I want to sort of, uh, let's see. It's gonna cost me three, four, five, five. No, I ha I'll have enough. All right. So you know what? Let me get this one. So this is gonna cost me six. I can actually use a counter to make it reduce the cost by three but you know what i'll have extra energy this round so i'm actually going to pay the six boom just like that all right so go to player two and i think those guys are going to race to get a planet because they don't really care about these two cards uh 
Yeah, maybe player three is gonna get the robot later because he has a discount on robots, but you know, those ones don't matter for them. Um, so everything here needs a lot of ground strength. So seven ground, seven ground, five and five, two and eight ground, and zero and eight ground. So everything needs a lot of ground strength. This is all space, they don't really need it. This is all space again, they don't need it. This is all space, he doesn't need it. And this is ground with tight formation, which is ground. All right, so uh, I think he is gonna deploy some cards though, just to get some things out. So he's gonna definitely deploy him. So this will cost him three. and an action so that's gonna make him get a token on the uh, mystical brotherhood here and next um, I think he is gonna play his uh, his patrol cruiser so next turn he can actually use the power to discard and draw back during the draw phase so it's gonna cost him four and another action, he's gonna play this. That's gonna put him a token on the Science Guild. There you go. And does he wanna play another one? Sure, why not? Actually, no, he wants to buy something later, so he'll he'll have an, so he'll keep his rest of the cards in his hand. We'll go to the third player, who's gonna play cards as well. Again, everything needs ground. This is air, this is air, fleet. This can give him a lot of ground if he discards cards. So let's keep that on the side. Um, this amount just allows him to draw straight up cards if he wants. And there's a ground and another ground. So he's gonna play this for sure, which costs three, but he gets to put a token on the, the last one there. So let's play this, that costs three. Uh, one, two. So he was at 12, so he's going to be at 9. Uh, what else does he want to play? He's going to play the Sentinel, so when he plays it, he's going to draw a card. So that lets him put out a token on that one there. So that allows him to draw a card. Let's see what he gets. And it's the Patrol Cruiser! Does he want to play it now? Um, if he wants to buy one of those cards, it costs 4. You can play something of two and still have enough for something later. So I think that's what he's gonna do. He's gonna play his twin laser here, cost two in another action. And there you go. So he's done his turn. Oh, I did forget to read you guys the event for this round. So it says during this round, each player must decide whether or not to spend plus two energy to invade each world. Otherwise that world is plus one fleet strength and plus one ground strength, okay? So we got to keep that in mind when we want to invade. Okay, back to my turn. All right, so what do I want to do? So I got, I can deploy three units and use up about four energy. So three units, four energy. Um, uh, I mean, nothing's great here. <laughs> I can save an energy to give myself plus one fleet with this one. Or I can just put out this guy. Uh, but I only do want to put out one, two, three, four. Actually, f four energy, one for this card, and one to invade. Okay, so four energy. So I think what I'm going to do is just do straight up uh, Enviro uh, Trooper and Beast Rider. Um, so this is going to allow me to put a token on the mining colony here. Uh, one second, get a token. And uh, you know what I'm going to also do? I'm going to go here. And I'm also, so that would have cost me two actions and four. I think I'm gonna play this, but I'm gonna use one of my tokens on the guild here uh, to reduce the cost of a unit by three, and this co this unit does cost three. So I just have to pay the action for it and just play it. All right, and I'll keep my cards. 
So I'm ready to invade next turn. Uh, all right, so. Okay, so the second player is ready to invade. So which one does he want to do? So let's calculate his totals right now. So he's at uh, three, four, four, one, five, one, five, three, but he can raise his ground strength by, let's say, two by spending an action. Uh, so that's what he's going to do. So he's going to spend one to raise his, so he's at five, five. And I think what he's going to do is just go after this one because it is six points, right? With five, five. Um, yeah, so that's probably his best move that he can make. Just looking at his cards. Yeah. So five, five. So let's see what he wants to get rid of. So this would have been uh, two, three, four, five, and one. Three, four, three, four, five. Yeah, there you go. So that's basically all his cards in his tableau. And he's going to definitely put a grunt underneath here. And he's going to store this. Uh, what he's going to do is he's going to use his meta bot to keep something in the game. And I think what he's going to do is keep his uh, Herculean bomber here because this card is awesome. We have to pay one energy for that to use that uh, bomber's ability, and these all get discarded. All right, let's go to the third player. All right, and he's going to invade as well. Um, two, four. Oh, actually, I did forget about that card there. It would have had an extra strength, so he had to discard his tight formation uh, for the ground. He did have an extra air, uh, so sorry about that. That will take care of the extra cost for that one, because I'm just calculating it for third player now. And it sucks, because he actually wanted to attack that one, and now he's got to change his plans. So he does have tight formation that adds two, so he's going to have two plus two. Uh, that's four, five, six. So he's at six, he's at five, six. Unfortunately, he needs to get to seven. So I think he's gonna have to use this card. So it says during an invasion, you can discard cards and for each card, you gain a ground strength. So I think what he's gonna do is he's gonna use this card, cost an energy, all right. He's gonna invade, so use an energy and an action. All right, he's gonna discard three, so he's gonna add plus three to his ground strength. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, eight, five. He's at five, eight. So basically, he can get rid of anything here. And I think what he's gonna do is can go for this one or this one. I think he's gonna get the one with the most points. Okay, there you go. So he's gonna discard uh, five, eight. Uh, He's gonna put his grunt underneath the planet, obviously. So he's gonna get rid of all his ground troops. He's gonna get rid of the metabot to keep one of his star fighters in the game. And this one needed uh, four uh, flight. So he's gonna get rid of his four, but he's gonna keep his star fighter. I guess he'll keep this one here and discard this stuff. All right, so there you go. It's now my turn. So now I really want to get this one here if I can even get there. I don't think I can. <laughs> it's going to suck. Um, so what do I have? I have two, four, six, seven. <sighs> can I raise it at all? Seven. Oh, I could raise it. Seven. Eight nine with my token up there. So that's what I'm gonna have to do. Um, so I think I'm gonna have to go for this one. So this is gonna be a three nine. So I have seven here. I have seven here. So I'm gonna have to use this token for the ground strength to make my, myself go up to nine ground, which is the difference that I need here. So that's nine. 
So I'm gonna have to discard all this. And then I also need uh, three air. So uh, I actually need four. No, I need three. So I'm gonna discard this as well. So I'm gonna discard all this to take care of that uh, that planet, and I'm gonna obviously store a grunt underneath, just like that. And all these get discarded. So that would cost me one action and one energy and still left with two cards. Maybe I uh, actually have no more actions. So uh, I'm pretty much done for the turn. I got no more actions and both of these are kind of useless. So I'm going to discard these at the end of my turn. I'll come back for the start of the next round just to speed it up. I'll do everyone else's turn. All right, end of round. So we're going to move to the next round. We're going to go to five actions. Um, I already discarded my energy and my cards, so I'm not carrying over any cards from the pre previous round. We're going to hand this over to the next player. Um, and there you go, that's the end of the round. Uh, okay, so at the start of round 8, we do the draw phase like usual. I'm going to draw 7 cards. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is my whole deck. There you go. Uh, so that's my draw phase. Now we're going to do our energy phase. Uh, energy phase, so I'm gonna get sorry for the glare. Whoops, sorry. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Well, second player generates uh, fifteen, so I'm still behind. I'm gonna get rid of my energy surge here for plus two. And I'm pretty much gonna keep everything because these. Uh, <laughs> Star cruisers are gonna cost me an arm and a leg to play. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we're ready to go. Galactic phase. Get rid of this card. There's a level three card. Let's grab our cards. Give it a good shuffle here. Got to add tokens here and here. So two, three, four. Sorry, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So three and five, so we're good. Um, so let's look at these planets quick, quick. So 11 and zero, so you need a ton of fleet. Uh, three and six and zero and eight, so the complete opposite. So you're either going very high fleet very high ground or just a bit of fleet and a lot of ground uh, with my hand let's just give an idea of what i'm going to try to do i do have cruisers in my hand with another starfighter here and another starfighter here so i can actually get to 11 i think or i can switch uh, my fleet and ground strength and go for the ground uh, which would be interesting and this one is very versatile. It could be three or three of either one. So I'm very high in either, okay? So that's gonna be fine. Uh, all right, let's get started. Uh, second player is gonna go. Let me just set up their player area. I'll be right back. All right, so blue's gonna, uh, blue. <laughs> second player is gonna go. And I looked at everyone's abilities and nobody can actually beat any of them except for maybe the middle one here. So I think we're going to race for cards and sort of get ready for the ninth and 10th turn where you can get some core world. So I'll show you how that's done. But first we're going to get cards. And I think uh, he really likes this card because not only is it a Senate card, but the ability is really strong because he has a ton of energy. So this thing can be a, a menace on the field, right? So he's going to pay four. Four and one action to take this card into this card. All right. So third player is going to go. And let's see, he's gonna sort of do the same thing. Uh, I think the one he's gonna want is the the Elite Forces. Because he has a lot of tokens on that or he's going to, this thing can be a free deployment for him. So he's gonna spend five. Eight. 
five and one action to take this card, put it in this discard. All right, then it's my turn. Okay. So what do I want to do on my turn? So I think I'm going to deploy a ton of stuff and see if I can either get this one or get a card. Um, these Two of these cards are really good for me and not great for the other players. Should I race for, get a, for a card? Um, I could get this one actually. No, I can't. <laughs> three. I have almost no ground strength. I can get the three and that's it. And I can't get to 11. So uh, let me get a card then. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is heroes are good for me because I get a discount and I have mining units. So this guy can be strong. He can be like a 6-6. Six, six. And give me mining unit, which is points. But this one's a mining unit too. And he costs negative one for each star fighter in my war zone. Plus he's a star cruiser, which I deploy for less. So he's only six for me. So you know what? I am going to take him. Plus he gives me an energy. And then I got to pay four. All right, let's just go to the next two players. I think what they're going to do is just uh, take the rest of the cards before they deploy, before they're all depleted, right? So I think the second player is going to grab the... Yeah, let me grab the uh, Gamorian here. So this is going to cost them five in an action. And then the third player is going to grab this one, so it's going to cost them four in an action. And then it's back to me. And look at this, there's only worlds left, so I can't do that. So I guess I'm gonna start deploying. All right, so I'll show you how I deploy because I'm gonna get a ton of benefits and a ton of extra stuff. So uh, try to follow along here. Um, all right, so this one, I get a negative one discount for all my cruisers, remember, because of my, uh, my world there. So this is only gonna cost me five uh, to put down. All right, so let's start off with this one. One, two, three, four, five, and an action. Okay, next. My heroes cost negative one, so this hero is gonna get deployed for only one. Oops. Uh, actually, before I play him, and that one, by the way, was gonna give me a token on the, on the Galactic Senate. I don't wanna forget that. Um, Next, I'm gonna play my capital ship here, which actually is gonna give me energy because this one says after deploying, actually I'll play the Starfighter first. <laughs> You'll see why. Uh, I'll play this one. This is a Starfighter, so it's gonna cost me two to deploy. One, two, and an action. He doesn't have any special abilities, so I'll just put him under here. Um, that one's gonna give me a token on the mining company, mining colony. All right, next. I'm gonna play him. So this is gonna cost me one because the capital ship, but he gives me back an energy for each mining token that I have, which I have three right now. So technically, I net plus two. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna play this which is still an action, but I net two, uh, two energy. And actually, uh, and actually, if you stop right now, look, I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I can use an energy to make it 11. So I can actually discard my whole hand here to take out this world. Uh, let's think about it. Uh, let's think about it, let's think about it. Should I do it? It's gonna cost me one of each.
Uh, sure, why not? Let's do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, because then I get to keep the ship. Okay, so let's do it. So this is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I spend an energy to give a plus one fleet to this, so I'm gonna have eleven. Um, actually, wait, it's not my turn yet. <laughs> I did a deployment. Sorry. Now it's gonna be the other player's turn. I'm going way too fast. So they're just gonna play all their cards to get ready for the ninth round to invade a better area, right? So they're gonna spend one and one to play their hero. Then here they're gonna play one and they're not gonna get a discount for this, so they're gonna play three for this and one to play this, but this is gonna give them a token on the Mystic Brotherhood. So, go in here. So, doing this. Then they're gonna play their Metabot. Here you go. So, they're gonna play one and one and play the Metabot. And they're out of actions and out of everything else. So I guess they're just going to get ready for the discard phase. And I think what they're going to do uh, is it's pretty much discard their hand because they don't want these cards. All right. So now we're going to go to third player. He's going to do the exact same thing. Just play all his cards. He's got three actions. Um, the Argo. Uh, I think he's gonna play these three cards. Okay, so I think he's gonna play five and three action points because that's what he has to play these three cards because he doesn't have enough to play his Argo. And he's gonna get one token on the Galactic Senate. And, but he's gonna play these three. And I think he's gonna keep his Argo next round. So he's going to discard these two. And he's going to keep this card for next round. So they're both pretty much done. Back to my turn. And you already know I want to invade that planet. So I'm going to pay one energy. And one action. To invade this place. Uh, we already calculated. I have enough. So I need to discard everything. But in start, instead of discarding everything... Uh, this one has a special ability that if I have the most on the mining company, uh, mining colony, I can spend one energy to keep it on my battlefield. So that's what I'll do. And then what I'm going to do is actually... Should I store any of these underneath? That uh, I'm actually going to place the vehicle, because I don't like, really like it that much. I'm going to place this vehicle underneath the... Uh, the planet to garrison it. There you go. I'm gonna do it like that. So that was a cool seven points, which is great. And I'm gonna discard the rest. There you go. I'm out of everything. I have a ton of energy, but I can't really do anything because I have no actions. I could use a Senate point to play one of these cards. Um, yeah, sure. Let's do that. I'll show you how that's done. So I'm going to use a token from my Senate uh, ability here. I should have used it before because you only gain it. I'm going to cheat a little. <laughs> you can only gain it if you already have one action, but obviously I would have played that first and then invaded. So I'm going to actually use my token there to gain an action then I'll play my action and um, four uh, energy to play my stealth box. there you go and I think I'm going to discard both these cards okay so we're all pretty much done. The discard, I just did it for everyone. Let me just lower everyone's energy to zero. Okay, so done. Let's go to the end phase. We're gonna go to round nine. I'm gonna pass the first player marker to player three. And there you go. All right, so start a nine round. There is a special ability that you can just uh, shuffle both your decks together, but look at that. I don't even have a draw pile, so I'm just gonna shuffle up my whole deck. And we're gonna draw 
uh, now you get an extra card and an extra action. Um, so I'm going to actually draw eight cards because I get the plus one. Um, and I'll have six actions. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go. If I get something good. All right, so energy phase. I get 14. Let's see if I get anything else. It's plus two, because somebody gets 15. And there you go, I'm ready to go. So I'm gonna have 16 energy and six actions to try to take over something. All right, so phase three is the galactic uh, thing. So we're gonna get rid of this one. This one's gonna have a token. And look at this, we're using deck number five. So this one's all about core worlds, uh, events, and uh, orange cards, which are basically cards that are added to your war zone and just give you points. Also, just to give you an idea, so this one, uh, it's just, you see, it's just costs uh, seven, but it gives you two points. But it gives you a special ability. This one costs eight, it gives you three points. It's all stuff that costs just to give you points. It's like spend money into points. All right. Um, essentially, <laughs> if you have extra cash at the end, you get a couple of those and you're good to go. Uh, let me just make sure all my world, uh, core worlds are in here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. which is perfect. That's what we're playing with. The, you, there is an extra two if you're playing with the second expansion, but honestly, that expansion is kind of garbage. Don't play with it. So let's flip some stuff over. One, two, three, There you go. So let me set up everyone's play area. I'll be right back. All right, so round nine, I just looked at everyone's cards and everyone's abilities and looked at what's on the field and we're all sort of gonna get screwed. Actually, I need to lower uh, my action by because of the event. It says to either lose two energy or an action. I'd rather you lose the action. All right, um, so everyone really wants this 8-8, eight, eight, which is eight points. So it's the best return here, but nobody's able to generate eight uh, <laughs> eight, str eight fleet and eight ground. All right. Uh, actually, uh, I lied. A third player can actually do it. So, is it a race for everyone else to get this one? Uh, maybe. So, I'm second player. So, let's see if I can actually do three and six. Um, so, I already deployed everything for third player. So, he's good. Now, it's going to go to my turn. And these are the cards in my hand. So if I want to get to three six, I need to deploy all my ground troops for sure because I have a ton of air units. Okay. So um, I think I'm gonna deploy him. So he's gonna give me a token on the uh, science guild. And it's gonna cost me two in an action. I'm gonna put Lord Banner, who's gonna cost me one because of this and an action. Uh, and give me no token. So I'm already at this can be three and this could be three. So I'm already at six. Which is good because I don't have any other way to get ground units and that needs a six so that's perfect so now let me just deploy more stuff while i'm here so i think i'm gonna put in my republic cruiser for sure because he's pretty powerful so this is gonna cost me um remember i get a discount of one so it's gonna cost me five and i get to put a token on the galactic senate so one two three four five uh here and let's see, it's gonna cost me one and one to invade, so I'm still gonna be able to play another unit. And... 
I think what I'm gonna do is play my bed med bot so that I can keep my stealth fighter after the battle. There you go, pretty much done. Uh, second player is going to do his turn. He played all his units. I already did it already. Third player is going to go now. And I think what he's going to do is go for the 8-8 eight eight here, which is 8 points, which is huge for him. So he's going to invade this. He's going to be in action and an energy. And you know what? I'll take care of it after which cards he has to discard, because after that, it's going to be the end of his turn. So I'll do that later. Then it's going to be back to me. And I think I'm going to go invade as well. I'm going to go get the 3-6 here. So for the 3 flight, I'm going to use my stealth fighter here, which I can use it for either 3 flight or 3 ground. I'm going to use it for 3 flight. And then for my 6, what I'm going to do is get it from here. So I have to spend an energy to get plus 2 here. So it's going to be 3-3 three, three now. And this one I can use a faction token from the Science Guild to give him plus one, plus one. So it's going to be another three. So I have to use a token from the Science Guild. Use this token. So there you go. So I got three and three, uh, which is three, six. But remember, I'm going to use my Metabot, wherever it is, this one here, discard this to keep my Stealth Fighter in the game. And pretty much discard the rest. That'll give me this world here. It's got no power. I get an energy. Um, should I garrison something underneath? Uh, sure, I'll put the med bot underneath. They're pretty much my turn. Uh, second player can't invade either of these. Uh, looking at his hand, can't really use anything. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna spend an action and uh, they're gonna have to spend a token for to get a discount of minus three. So by spending an action and what's the one that they can get the most? Nine. So they're gonna have to spend six energy which is all their energy and take this card. This card goes directly into their war zone and it says uh, place your token on any of the places that you want, right? So I think what they're going to do is go to where they can score the most amount of points or where it'll be useful in the future. Uh, I think because they have some very expensive guys that they might want to deploy. Uh, oof. Where should he put this? Uh, you can draw three cards, add two strength. Yeah, let him go here. Maybe he'll uh, deploy some guys for cheap. And this will just go in his uh, war zone. So he's pretty much done. Uh, third player is done. I just have to figure out which units he's keeping. Comes back to me. Uh, I got one action and seven energy left. I think I'm going to go grab a... Whoops, why is this card upside down? <laughs> I think I'm going to grab one of these as well. Uh, they're pretty much straight up points. Uh, I can use my Science Guild to reduce the cost, so I'm going to go get the most expensive one. So I'm going to use one action and eight energy, but I'm going to use a Science Point here to subtract three from the cost, so it's going to cost me five energy instead. And one action to put this in my war zone. It does give me a, it would have cost me one less for every core world that I have, but I don't have any core worlds. Let's just slide that underneath here. It's just straight up points. And there you go, everyone's pretty much done. Uh, everyone has no more actions, so that's the end. We're gonna go to our discard phase. Uh, so I got a bunch of cards, but the problem is my deck is so small right now. Uh, one, two, three, yeah. So let me, yeah, I'm just going to discard everything and see what I get, right? Because I don't really need the energy next turn. This is going to produce me plus three energy. Actually, I might need the energy. So let me keep my mining ship. Plus, this only cost me one, uh, one, one action. Well, 
Although I don't want to waste the action to play it. You know what? Let me keep it anyway. Let me keep it. Who knows? It might come in handy if I need energy. Uh, to get those red cards, it might be worth it. Uh, there you go. That's my discard. Lose my energy. There you go. I'll do that for everyone else. All right. Everyone's down to up. Oh, he's got to go down to a certain amount of cards. I think he's going to keep his Argo and discard everything else. Let's see. Player two is going to keep his uh, Komorian. Discard everything else. And there you go. So now end phase. We're going to go here. Everyone's going to set their actions to six. We are on the last round. Hooray. And past the first player marker. So I'm going to be first player for the last turn, which could be good. But everyone else has a ton of units, so they're probably going to invade right away. So I'll probably have last choice on what I what I want to invade. Uh, there you go. So I'll come back for the last round. All right, the 10th turn uh i actually did all of third players extra stuff so that's why there's extra tokens but we'll get to that in a second um all right so draw phase i'm gonna carry over one card so uh one two three four five six and i'm gonna need one more so let's shuffle up this deck let's give it a cut let's cut it again let's cut it again i'll draw this one which is the cyber unit cyborg unit all right, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I do draw an extra card because of my the homeworld ability. Remember? And wow, look at all this air strength that I have. That's insane. Uh, all right, so uh, energy phase. So I'm gonna do three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, seventeen. Pretty good. And I got an energy surge, but I got the most, so I'm only going to gain one. Alright, there you go. Uh, I technically should discard two cards uh, for their energy, I think. Actually, no, I don't really need to because I do have powers over here to gain me stuff for less energy. So, you know what, let me keep my cards. That's fine. Alright, Galactic Phase. So, what's special that happens in round 10 is all the cards come out. Um, where's the deck of 10? So here we go. So basically, uh, we're gonna take out all the cards, and basically the last event's gonna take place, which is this one, and all the rest I'll just toss from the game. And we're just gonna place all the cards out. Fortunately, you won't be able to see them all, so let me just cover up the round tracker here. You don't really need to see that anymore. And there you go. So now it's going to be the action phase. I'm first player. Uh, I'm actually going to see what's happening and I'll be right back. All right. So uh, action phase. I'm first. Uh, one thing that we have to do is the event, which is pretty bad. It's we all have to remove two tokens from the galactic order. So I'm going to remove these two because energy, whatever. I'm not going to need two when the other things are better. Uh, all right. So second player here is going to remove two tokens. I think they're going to remove these two because they don't want to draw cards anymore. And I think the other player is going to remove these two because he's second place and he doesn't want to draw either. All right. So now it's time to deploy. So I think I'm going to deploy as much as I can. I really want this world, which is 14-0, but the second player might take it from me. Uh, we'll see what happens. And maybe even the 10-5 one. These two are great for me. They need, just need a lot of air and not a lot of ground troops. And... I think those are my best options. So, I think what I'm going to do is play as much stuff from my hand that I can. So, let's go to my board here. Alright, so let's start. So, the first thing I think I'm going to do is play my mining vessel. So, this is actually going to give me... Oh no, now it only gives me plus one because I had to remove two tokens. Alright, that was a bad idea. Um, okay, so let me play my claw fighter first. Uh, because it's three for three and it'll give me a discount on my other ship. So this is going to cost me three. And an action to play this. Right. Uh, so that's going to give me a token on the uh, gun thing. Order of the knighthood. 
Next, I think I'm gonna play my Dreadnought here, which uh, gives me two discounts. One for each Starfighter in my thing, so I got two Starfighters, so I get a discount of minus two, plus my world gives me an extra one, so this is cost me three less, so it's only gonna cost me four. Play this. Um. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I got four more actions. Maybe I want to buy a one of those red cards. I want to invade a world so I can deploy two more units technically. And I have 11 strength. I do need some ground strength because if I don't get that 15, 11, sorry, that 14 zero one, I'm going to need ground strength. So I think I'm going to have to play some of these lower middling guys here. Uh, Fortunately, Mr. Nemesis, I think I'm gonna have to stay in my hand because I don't think I really need him. All right, so I'm gonna play him. Uh, sure, I'm gonna play these two just to get the extra icons on the board. Or do I play the Nemesis? I don't really need the Nemesis. All right, so I'm gonna play these two. So these are gonna cost me, this is a discount of, uh, no, actually they don't get discount. So it's gonna cost me four and I'm gonna get tokens on both of these. Uh, science and mining. All right, pretty much that's my turn. Um, let me go do the other player's turn. I'll be right back. All right, well that sucked. Second player stole that world that I wanted, and third player did all his turns. He took the infantry world and one of the red cards because nobody would have taken it anyway. Because there's plenty of that cost. So, uh, back to my turn. I think I'm going to go for this one. So this is 10-5. Um, so how do I get to 10-5? Sure. Let's go to 3. So I need to spend 1 and 1. So 3 and 3. There you go. Pretty simple. That's going to be 10. Um... Yeah, and then five, I'm gonna think I'm gonna have to spend uh, Actually, well uh, Okay 10, 5, so this one could be 3. And I gotta get rid of 2, so I might as well get rid of this. There you go. 10, 5. Uh, I'm gonna take this one. I'm just gonna place it down here somewhere. <laughs> Score more points. And let's see, second player is not done. Actually, he can get another world. So he's got uh, 5, 9, He's got nine, four, nine, he can get anything he wants. So I think what he's gonna do is got the one that's uh, probably the most points for him. I think he's gonna grab this one. So eight and eight, he's gonna do four and four here. And then he needs four and four more. So he's gonna do two, one, so that's six, five. That's gonna be eight, five. Eight seven and eight eight. There you go. He's gonna grab this one. Actually, wait. He can't because he already invaded a world this turn. You can only invade one world per turn. Okay, never mind. So that's not gonna happen. Um, he's actually gonna use his energy, I guess, to buy a card then. Uh, but he doesn't have energy because he spent it all to put those units down. Ah. Um. So he's gonna use. Uh, a couple of these science ones to reduce the costs by six and I think he's gonna grab uh, this one obviously because he's gonna get him a token on the Senate here 
and it's worth three points. So he lost technically two points to gain three points and another point there. There you go. So he's pretty much done. Third player's done. Back to me. Um, I invaded a world so I can go get a card as well for my last action. I'll go get a red card. So I have six. Uh, and they all cost six because this one I have a core world so this is a negative one. So it's actually six. And that's what I'll do. Um, so this is going to cost me all my energy and I finished with exactly zero actions and zero energy Look at that. So we're pretty much done So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tally the other two players scores and I'll come back and I'll show you how to tally my score All right, welcome to scoring. So I laid out my deck uh, basically everything without points I put them here on my worlds my uh, Red cards and the rest of my worlds and some units that have points um, so the first thing you do is you calculate your bonuses. So this one scores for each of my additional starfighters. I have seven in total, including the four in my original deck. So the original deck here. So that's seven points. Then you calculate all the red stuff that you have everywhere. So two, three, seven, eleven, eighteen, twenty-three. Plus five is twenty-eight. Plus three is thirty-one. So I'm at 34 at this point, I am winning by four points. And then we got to calculate the Senate here, which is an addition uh, with the expansion. All right, so uh, how it works is uh, whoever has the most gonna score uh, their amount of tokens and whoever's second is gonna score half rounded up. All right, so on the first one, uh, uh, both me and third player are gonna get two points each. All right, on this one, we're all gonna score one point. For this one, third player is going to score three and everyone else is going to score one. That's because half of one rounded up is one. So it's three, one, one. For this one, I'm going to score two. For this one, second player is going to score two. And for this one, third player is going to score one and I'm going to score one. Uh, sorry, third player is going to score three and I'm going to score one. Two, two, and I'm going to score, oh my God. All right, so uh, three, four, two, five, six, seven, two, eight, two, nine, four, three, one. So I ended up with 41, and second player had 31, which isn't great. And third player with 38, which was really close. So 41, 38, 31. So I only won by three points, which is probably the last like red card that I bought at the end. But there you go, that's the game. Stay tuned for my thoughts. All right, here we go. Thoughts for Core Worlds with the first expansion. So there's a couple of things we just have to talk about right away. The game is absolutely amazing. The biggest con to this thing is that it's freaking long. All right, this is probably the longest deck builder on the market by a gigantic margin. All right, but you know what? If you have the time, the game is fantastic. Uh, the second thing that we need to talk about is the first expansion, which is an absolute must. You cannot play this game without this expansion. It adds necessary things. They even incorporated, I mean, when you buy the base game, the cards came with the icons for the first expansion. So they developed it with the first expansion. I guess they wanted to make more money, so they took out some of the parts of the base game to make the, the expansion and whatever doesn't really matter how they did it you need to play with the expansion it's a must okay the events are great the icons are great adding to the galactic boards are fantastic gives you extra powers extra things the attachments staying out your deck everything that this expansion gives you is fantastic now the second expansion this game <laughs> continues the extremely extremely long line of games who have two expansions the first one is phenomenal and the second one is either mediocre or just garbage okay do not get the second expansion to this game uh, if you want to get it just get it for the added cards or updated cards that you would put into the decks uh, but the whole hero mechanic it's total garbage and don't play with that it adds way too much time to the game and it barely adds anything you get another separate deck for your heroes oh my god it's a long makes the game even longer and pointless okay okay so let me go back to the beginning of the whole conversation this game is fantastic it is my favorite deck builder it's not even close uh well actually it is close clank is clank is right up there you know what this would have been my favorite by far 
two, three years ago, but I do have Clank and Clank in space with all the expansions and those ones are phenomenal. So maybe it's a tie. All right, this one is more of a, uh, a 4X, 4X style game, space combat, and the other one's more of a race game. So they're completely different, but you know what? They're both deck builders, so they're both uh, in the same league, I guess. Uh, so this is great. Uh, again, the only negative is the length. It's so long. Um, uh, there is no other negative. The art is great. The components are, you know, it's it is what it is for a game that's eight to nine years old. Uh, and it needs a refresh. Uh, if they kickstart this with brand new art, brand new cards, brand new everything, new aesthetic, instead of getting these stupid flimsy cards to track your rounds, uh, have a better system. Like this is kind of pathetic, I, I guess. There's no other way to say it. Um, so on and so on. These tokens could be a little better. They're kind of ugly let's just say it um yeah so it needs a revision i guess but you know this is the only edition we have so you have to go buy it if that's what you want um i mean the gameplay is phenomenal it's a deck builder you have to choose like you constantly always have more cards in your hand than you have to play so you always have tough to choices on what do you actually want to play there's a lot of interaction people are stealing the cards you want the worlds you want to invade so on and so on a ton of interaction even though it's a deck builder most deck builders there's almost no interaction you're just playing a solitary game i mean you play the dc deck builder or legendary you're just basically playing your own game and just buying cards whenever they come out on the row ascension and all those things it's kind of multiplayer solitaire you're not really interacting with any other player I mean, the exception would be maybe Star Realms where you're actually attacking one person directly. So there's some interaction there, but there's a lot more interaction in this one. Um, I'm just going to wrap this up quick, quick. Uh, with the expansion, this game is a five on six. I would give it a six on six if it was shorter. If there was a way to make this a six or seven round game instead of a 10, maybe with the revised version, have it a smaller game. Or maybe have a, like one of those other games where you can play a short game which is five a medium game which is seven or a long game which is ten or something like that figure out a system uh, make it work that would be fantastic uh but it just is way too long it's just it's it's a bit it's about the same length as uh, through the ages right so if you want to play a 4x 4x card game you're choosing between this and through the ages it's going to be a tough sell uh, which one you want to play okay uh yeah so overall it's great five on six with the expansion Without the expansion, I mean, it's still playable, but it's like a three on six. It's like the expansion adds so much and fixes some cards. It's fantastic. I love this expansion. It's probably on my top five expansions of all time. This It's great. Uh, yeah, so it's all good. Uh, and that's all I got to say. So <laughs> click on the link below for the other uh, links to other videos or whatever. Please uh, uh, subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. See you in the next one.